All right, uh, what we got here is our Mini 14 uh, disassembled. And here's our bolt, our uh, charging handle, and uh, gas piston. Anyway, uh, since the Mini 14 doesn't tear down any further, um, we got the barrel attached to our breech action and uh, um, receiver. And it doesn't come apart. Kind of hard to put a rod down there. So instead of putting a rod through the muzzle, which would risk damaging your crown and make the gun even less accurate than it already is, uh, and so what you do is you use one of these fancy Otis uh, cleaning systems. Other companies make them, but Otis is kind of the one to go to. And as you can see, it's a steel cable, coated, and some kind of plastic. Make it so it doesn't scratch up uh, your uh, rifling. Um, they come in these handy kits like this. And you can put this in your rifle bag, your range bag. Uh, it even has a little mole thing there, so you can uh, put it on the outside if you want. And as you can see, I haven't really used much out of this kit, except for the actual... Uh, patch system. These are all the patches, which are really expensive. I won't be buying those again. Uh, regular patches are just fine. But it comes with this, this cable, like this. And it comes with a little end piece here that screws on one end of the cable. And uh, you can put a little uh, brass bar through there. And the other end, you attach your patch and pull it through. Well, why is my brass bar bent? <laughs> That's because uh, well, it's happened several times, but this is the worst it's ever been. But this patch system has gotten completely stuck in the rifle. And you probably can't see very easily here. I got some grime in there now, it's been sitting for a little bit. Um, and that's the patch itself you're seeing. Focus, there we go. You gotta get that grime out of there a bit. And that's the patch, it's right there. It's got stuck in here, and uh, get some weights going here. No matter how hard I pull, it's not going to come out. And that's why this thing is bent. <laughs> Tried some pliers. At first, I was trying to save the cable. Um, that's not going to happen. So uh, I've gone ahead and uh, got a new kit. <laughs> I notice again. This is a Patriot series. It uses this big old plastic handle here to let you pull your cable through. So I'm hoping that'll uh, give you a little bit more leverage uh, or whatever to pull it through. Anyway, so to, how do you get this patch out? Well, you know, I was going to take it to a gunsmith, but uh, I had an idea after doing some research online. Uh, that patch is made of cotton, um, and cotton is flammable. And it's the patch that's wedged between the little eye loop for the uh, patch system and the rifling inside the barrel. So if we can burn that out, um, our cable should come out. The cable will probably be mangled, plastic might be melted. We can clean that. Uh, we can't clean it like this, as system stuck in there. So we're going to try to burn it out with an old cigar lighter I have. This guy right here. So. I don't use it anymore because that's not good for cigars. Matches are a lot better, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, so we're going to try to burn it out. It won't burn because lack of oxygen, because it is sealing the barrel for the most part. Uh, we'll pour some Hopis down there, let it soak for a minute, and then try lighting it again since Hopis is flammable, it says on the bottle. And you got a lot of other flammable things, so one way or another it's coming out today. It's been like this, unfortunately, for about a month. I just haven't had time to deal with it, uh, ending school and all that kind of stuff. So now I got plenty of time. So we're dealing with it, and uh, yeah, we'll see where it goes. All right. So uh, using the cigar lighter <laughs> didn't have any results, even after uh, soaking this thing in Hopis for a bit. It doesn't really burn. Uh, put porn Hopis on top, it would just stand there. Uh, so there is absolutely uh, nothing going through. No dripping out the barrel, nothing. So, um, I'm going to step it up a little bit. And uh, see if this will 
get it going a little bit more. Yeah, the fan going because uh, these fumes aren't good to breathe, I'm sure. Uh, we'll see where it goes. Well, there we got it. Yeah, I can only imagine what the inside of this barrel looks like right now. Because that is disgusting. So, what finally did it? Well, a little bit of that guy, although he really wasn't getting in there. Torch flame doesn't really get small enough. Uh, but then I ended up using a bunch of matches um, and stuffing them down the barrel, or the uh, uh, yeah, down the barrel as they were lit, and uh, they sputtered and made a bunch of noises and stuff. And did that a couple times and pulled on it. Did that a couple times, pulled on it, and finally started budging. So I kept pulling and it came loose. Well, here we go. So the part that was too wide was. Probably here where that black burnt stuff is. Finally allowed, allowed it to give way. So, uh, yeah. And it doesn't really look like we damaged the cable, but uh, I'm not going to use it again. I'm going to use this new one here. Um, maybe I'll keep this one around just in a pinch, but pretty sure I messed parts of it up with pliers and whatnot earlier, so. Yeah. Well, there we go.